Hi y'all. I am back for my second set of ink swatches. Sorry. <clears throat> of the samples that I received from Venice <clears throat> pens. Um last time we done a lot of Robert Oster 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 and I keep saying Oster like with a I don't know why I said pronounce it like that. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I keep it, keep saying it. I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one this time. And uh, then we'll have this one left. And my coat pins. And then it's called Online Pin Company. It's the name of the other place that I keep saying I ordered inks from. And I couldn't remember it. It was, um, I believe it was out of the U.S. And uh, the shipping was like $3 and something. So, <clears throat> definitely think about going there to look for some inks if you all are looking to um, get any from there. But yeah, I'm going to swatch these first. And then I'm going, yeah, I'm going to swatch these next and then these will be last. And then once I get my other inks in, which most of them were diamond, diamond inks, but um, <clears throat> inks that I hadn't, that I didn't have. And then also um, the inks were $2, $3 and something a bottle versus here is seven eight dollars a bottle so of the 30 ml bottles and i actually do like the 30 ml bottles i wish they were glass as well um because i actually love the diamond i think it's 50 ml but yeah it, it'll probably take me um beyond my lifetime to finish it so i'm gonna just stick with the um um <clears throat> 30 ml bottles and be happy except for the ones that I can't get in 30 mls if I really like the color <clears throat> okay so let's see what all do we have here that we are going to swatch <clears throat> I'm sorry y'all I just finished coughing and now my throat is not like it needs to be cleared but Where's my? Where is my dip pen? I don't see it. <clears throat> I could have. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I forgot I put it up. So, on these, what we be swatching? This is the gold antique one by Robert Oster. Oster. Um, oh, and I guess I shook it up because at first I could actually see the um, shimmer in it. So I'm going to swatch that one. That's going to be one of the last ones. This is Diamine 105th Anniversary uh, Espresso. This color looked so pretty. And I'm a brown fan as far as colors. So, I went on ahead and purchased a sample, and if I like it, I'm going to go ahead and get the bottle. Sorry. <laughs> Even though I have a ton of browns. I can also see if it if it's close to any of the browns that I have, and that'll help me decide on getting it as well. Uh, this one is Diamine Burgundy Royale. Um, <clears throat> I think this is maybe more of a red color than burgundy like a deep deep red and if it is that'll be great because i'm still on the hunt for one of those dominant industry romania red is good for me but um i if i can get something a little bit darker without it going burgundy i would love that <clears throat> this one i don't know why i didn't purchase the whole bottle of it because i've seen so many swatches of it and i know i'm gonna like it so i don't know why i didn't purchase the whole bottle but this is Robert Oster Sydney Lavender. So I'm going to swatch that one and this one. I'm going to do this one first because I think it's the lightest. This is Noodler's Concord Bream. And 
Y'all can see that. I think it's supposed to be a blue, but you are, uh-oh, I'm sorry. I'm all left off and out of frame. But if you look, you can see it, got, it has a lot of purple or lavender in it. Um, but it's supposed to be a bluish, light blue color. So I'm going to start with that one, I think, <clears throat> since that is um, one of the lighter colors. <clears throat> And again, these are all samples. All of my samples go on my Rolodex wheel. And my bottles go on the Rolodex wheel and in a sample swatch book. I mean, in a swatch book. So, yeah. Okay. I guess let me go ahead and get started. I've got my little dirty water here that I need to uh, switch out. But it's going to have to do for right now because I'm going to go ahead and move on with it. Make sure I don't waste it. Uh oh. And I have multiple cards. I only want one card. <clears throat> oh, and see, it is a purple. But online, it actually looked like a light blue, something like that. The swatch did. Um, I don't know. It was grainy. Appears. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to take my little um, dots out <coughs> that I will put on top of the label. Then also, I'm going to put it here. Now, this one doesn't have all of the samples in it uh, because I started this book well after I had gotten um, all of these. So, um, it's not, it doesn't have all of them in it. <coughs> See, that's pretty. And it does look lavender like, doesn't it? Okay. Hmm. So I wasn't expecting a lavender, and I think I actually purchased a lavender. I'm pretty sure I purchased a lavender from Diamine, not a a diamond, not a lilac. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a lavender. I need to put the name on it, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay. And it, it's feathers looks like quite a bit, too. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of weird. It's really, it's light, so I feel like it shouldn't be doing all that it's doing. But if y'all can look at that, you can see how badly it feathers. Maybe it has a lot of water in it. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to have to try this on um, like a Tamari River paper or something and see if that helps it any. Because I do like the color. Hmm. Huh. Next, we are going to be doing Robert Oster Sydney. Look at that. 
That is so pretty. It looks like it took to this actually really well. So maybe it, it's the the Rolodex card. Mm, that is so pretty. Yes, 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 yes. So maybe it's the Rolodex card. I'll, I'll, I'll try it on some other paper. <coughs> But next is Robert Oster. 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 Okay, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Robert Oster Sydney Lavender. And I got this because it looks like a dusty purple. And I love me some dusty purples. It's one that I swatched in the last one. Ended up being quite dusty. And I didn't think, uh, I wasn't expecting that. So I'm actually thinking about getting it. <clears throat> mm. It's darker than what I thought it was going to be. But nonetheless, still very, 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 very pretty. Mm. And I guess it does have some dustiness to it, even though it is darker. Yeah. Lavender spelled it wrong. That's very pretty. Very pretty. A lot darker than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, so not quite that dusty that I was thinking. I mean, you can see some. But um, uh, in the writing, I guess you can see it here, but not where it's heavily saturated. So uh, we'll see once I get in the pen how it looks. like my cough is still is finally starting to go away. That's the dot. <clears throat> Next is Diamine 105th Anniversary Burgundy Royal. Hmm. Now I can see this has a little graininess in it. So Maybe that's what was wrong with uh, Nootlers. Maybe it's actually the the I mean the sediments in the actual sample. Let's see how we do here. Mm. 
Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Now, this is not the red that I was looking for, but let me tell you what it is ox blood and writer's blood is so dark that you can't always tell that it is a red. I like this one because it is dark, but you can tell that it's a red. So this is very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> this is really good. Okay, and I, I can tell you all, I just swapped it on. I like it much better on white paper. It's pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and do a sample of it. Writing. Yes, definitely. Um, yes. This is very pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at that. My lighting has went down a little bit. Hopefully it'll bring back up a little bit. But Right now, it looks pretty true to color. Maybe a tad bit darker than this on the camera. No, no, it's a tad bit darker in person, a tad bit lighter on the camera. Yeah. <clears throat> did not like it here. Here it looks like a burgundy. Mm. Yeah. I like it um, on the swatch. Much better. Much, much better than um... now this is Diamine or Diamine 100 and what is wrong with me? 150th anniversary espresso. I don't know why I am constantly saying these words the way I'm saying them and they're not right. <laughs> okay. I think I said maybe this would be close to Mutler's Walnut and if it is, I won't purchase but I got it so just so that I can see. And it's another one, the triple chocolate. I thought I had gotten that one um, from one of those coat pins or other one, but I did not. So that's unfortunate. But um, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
It's pretty. Very pretty brown. This is, see, it looks burgundy or maroon here. The uh, burgundy royale. Doesn't look anything like that paper over there. That this that I just showed you all is watercolor paper though. So uh, I know that that makes a difference, but yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so freaking pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That is pretty. I think Newton's walnut is a tad darker than this. Let's see how the sample goes. One more after this one, y'all. There we go. This one took just a little bit longer, this video I see, than my other one. But my other one, I had everything laid out. This time I did not. So, preparation matters, huh? <laughs> Okay, and I still did not see that. I did see the gold shimmer in it, though, uh, when I pulled it up out the bag. But this is Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. has a lot of green in it. Love that yellow. It's green. It's pretty. I like it anyway. Um, let's go ahead and I like the uh, sample writing too. It's a lot of shading, maybe, maybe not. I'll let the end out. I was making sure I swapped it. Swatched it. <clears throat> 
for the card here. So, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. And it doesn't have shimmer in it. I could have swore it had shimmer in this ink. Maybe that's why I wasn't seeing none. And I could have swore. Oh, maybe that was one of the other samples I was looking at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one sample I was looking at. Maybe that's the sample I was looking at. But even though I still thought I, I still thought this one had shimmer in it, like the rose antiqua. Oh, maybe because it's it. Okay, okay. Anyway, this is still a very pretty color. I like it a lot. And since it doesn't have gold in it, because I won't buy a big bottle of those. Since it doesn't have any shimmer in it, I could actually buy this. This is very pretty, y'all. This is pretty. Um, yeah, okay. I think this is my favorite. I'm gonna go pull them all down. Look at them. My least favorite is actually the one that I thought would be one of my favorites because it's not dusty enough so I'm glad I didn't get the bottle okay no this would be my least favorite but it's my least favorite because of what it's going on what it has going on here this graininess to it and then also sorry y'all motorcycle and then also this um, feather in here so this is my least favorite for that but as far as color wise I like the color but out of all of these colors this would be the last one I would choose because I would choose these first because I don't have anything I don't think quite like them this one maybe so but I've been looking for something this deep this I do like but this it's super pretty okay so let's look at my wheel right quick um, so this is probably gonna take a while to um, let's go right into this area here because I think this color will fit into that area which is these olive and light kind of greens maybe not let me see where are the yellows mm -mm. nope I have nothing that color in the yellows so I think that probably is the area. I'm probably in the right area. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yep. I think so. Okay. So. These are what I currently have. Here. and this is that one and there is nothing yep like this this would be the closest one to it and I don't have anything else on my wheel that is like that so I think I am going to keep it with this group of colors yeah yes it's very pretty oh that's so pretty wow okay and then my dark browns let's look at those because I have lots of browns y'all um See a little bit. Colorverse. 
Okay, Newtoners 41. Diamond. This is Saddle Brown. Newtoners Beaver. Van Damme. Love that color, though. Okay. Here we go. We're getting to the darker ones now. Okay, this is Newtless Walnut. So Newtless Walnut has a lot more red in it. And there it is. Yeah. This is Diamond Chocolate Brown. This has red in it too. Um, they look more similar on the camera than they do in person. Private Reserve Ebony Brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my deepest brown band, this Diamond Macassar. I think it should be before that one. And maybe after this one since it had this one has more red in it hmm. it seems like there was a sepia color that I had kind of with the grays and this does have some gray in it um, maybe it'll go better there mm -mm. no this is it right here. No. No. Two. Mm -mm. Okay. No, I'm going to keep it where it's at. I'm going to keep it here. <clears throat> now let's go to this purples. Um, I think I actually put something into the stack of purples uh, on the last one that was similar to this one, which makes it better because then it actually will have uh, not be alone because I felt like it was just standing out there by itself oh uh -huh. say so when you hold it up against there I guess you see a lot of blue in it see, these are purpley blues Monte Verde Private Reserve Yes, this private reserve ebony purple is deeper than it, but it's similar. So, I think I'm going to put it here. That's the only thing about the color wheel is that I beat myself up trying to figure out where stuff goes. I'm going to put it here. But I feel like this one... Okay, then this red, y'all. Oh, burgundy, red, burgundy. Oh, light burgundy, we'll say that. See, here's the diamond oxblood, and it looks fine here, but when you have it in a pen, it does not. And here's the diamond writer's blood, and you see how deep this one is. Um, look at there, that's so similar. Hmm. I'm going to have to try with Oxbow again, but I know for certain, I, uh, mm -mm, I think this one is lighter. And I try to look at the writing too, to help me determine that. Mm. I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to put it here. Yes, I'm going to put it here. Okay. Then my last one, y'all, is... And I think I saw an area that I would consider putting that in. Let me see. It's not... Maybe not...
um, this is hard deciding where things go. I think this is a purple though. It's not a blue. I think it's a purple. So I'm going to go back to the purples. And if I see, this is uh, one of those ones I put with the grays, but it's a purple. It's the, the, the dusty purple, like what I was telling you all about. But I put it with the grays, since it had Storm in the name. Um, yeah. So, see, we don't have any that shade of purple. These are all my burgundies here. I can put it here. I like this purple too. And I can put it in front of there. Since it's the lightest. I don't know. And then we go into all of the different shades of purple. Yeah. So I don't know y'all. But that, that drives me crazy when I don't have a spot definite for a color. Because I'm I'm constantly switching it. Oh, it go here. Oh, no, it go here. Oh, it go here. Yeah. So, okay. That is it, y'all. I am through now. I will talk to you all later. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you all have any questions. And um, I will talk to you all in the next one.